In this video, we will explore the Messages function in Edgelink 1. Your Edgelink 1 administrator must configure the Communicator tab in the Administration settings before Messages will work. If you are the administrator and would like to set up the Communicator function, visit our Knowledge Hub for detailed instructions. Log in to Edgelink 1. Your Messages icon is located at the bottom of your screen and holds all of your received and sent messages. Click on Messages to begin. It is important to note that Edgelink 1 can only know if a message has been read by a recipient from the app, not email or SMS. There are two tabs here, Received and Sent. The latest message will open automatically and all messages can be read to the right. However, if you need to access an older message, you can scroll through them and use the page numbers at the bottom to find the one you are looking for. All messages are dated and timestamped. Unread messages are marked by a red dot. If you would like to mark all of your messages as read, you can select the Mark All Red button. You need to confirm this action by clicking Yes or No to proceed. You can also archive your messages by clicking on the Archive button. To view them, tick the Archive box. You can take messages out of your archive by clicking the Unarchive button and the message will be returned to your received messages. To view staff copied into messages from parents, click on the blue icon located next to the sender's name. A new window opens listing the employees who were sent the message. If the employee has a red X next to their name, it indicates that they have not read the message yet. The I icon indicates that an employee has read the message and the reply icon indicates that an employee has responded to the message. This could be useful when coordinating responses to a parent with other members of staff. You can reply to messages from employees, learners and parents by clicking the reply button. Choose your message subject. whether you would like this included in your MIS communication log and if you want to use an existing template to help compose your message. You can attach documents, customise the message using the toolbar, include hyperlinks and create a template from your message, which we will cover in greater detail in another video. It is also worth noting that you can use variables which can be helpful when creating a template. A list of Edulink 1 variables can be found in our Knowledge Hub. To view sent messages, click on the Sent tab. The latest message sent is the first to appear, but you can scroll through your sent messages and select older messages using the page numbers at the bottom of the tab. There are icons to help you determine the status of your message. The green check mark indicates your message has been sent. The open eye icon indicates your message has been read by the recipient. The closed eye indicates that the message has not been read by one or more recipients. And the red warning icon indicates that the message has failed to send to one or more people. Edgelink 1 tries to send the message to the recipient three times. You can view the failed attempt by clicking on the recipients at the top of your message. It is worth noting that once you have sent a message, an Abort button is available on the sent message for a few seconds. This allows you time to correct errors, add details or delete the message if it is no longer relevant. To exit Communicator, click the X in the corner to return to your main page. Thanks for watching. For more on Communicator, including setup and further videos, visit our Knowledge Hub 
at support.overnetdata.com.